A brand new modded item has been added to the workshop called the Sacred Dice. This four room recharge active item will do one of three things. There's a 60% chance it will reroll an item to another item of plus one quality. There's a 20% chance it will reroll it to something of minus one quality and a 20% chance to straight up eat the item. This is called the Sacred Dice Challenge. For every single item pedestal that I see, before I take the item, I have to re-roll it once with the Sacred Dice. Once it's re-rolled into a new item, I have to take that item, no matter what. Also starting with the school bag here, in case it's inactive. So a fun thing about the Sacred Dice is that its re-rolls are technically chaos. You never know what you're gonna get. The light beam, the sound effect, means that it made it an item of plus one quality. We got the dollar. Early dollar, that's pretty hype. First curse room, probably not gonna mess with this. Now this challenge might sound overpowered, but once again, there's a chance that we eat items altogether. There's a chance that we get worse items that we have to take. And we're going to be re-rolling everything in Angel or Devil. Let's say there's something in the secret room pool. We're going to chaos all of that. So there's no guarantee that we're going to ever even get something from the Angel or Devil. You just don't know how it's going to go. But I am expecting a pretty fun and interesting run. We did this challenge on stream already. So if you're hankering for more of this, check out my second channel or go check me out on Twitch. I am always happy when new people show up. We're definitely buying as many things as we can here, but you know the rules. We have to sacred dice, and then we have to take these items. Should I take the card? Probably. Reverse world, step into the abyss. Crawl space. Oh, black market. I do have the choice of not taking an item. Let's say it, uh, I'm, I'm not comfortable taking something from here. Nice little trinket there. I can decide not to buy a specific devil pedestal, but if I were to spend health, I would of course have to dice first. I kind of like the idea of going angel rooms on this run so that we don't have to stupidly waste health on something that we don't want or need. If we don't currently have a charge for this, I could just go ahead and give myself another sacred dice that is charged. Oh, see, now that's... That's the thing. That's that's a real shame. That's a real shame. Some of you might be thinking, Hey Huts, there's a black candle down below. I would have to sacred dice it first, so it doesn't count. I do feel like it would be unfair, too, to keep re-rolling this same pedestal. So we're just going to ignore whatever this pedestal turns into. It's now outside of the challenge. Go. It removed it anyways. And we got a crystal ball with a hang reverse hangman card. Interesting. So we swap the D1 out for the crystal ball now. We can buy at least one more thing. I never mind. Okay, cool. One more. I'm going to buy this top one. Oh no. Cricket's head. Tech's pretty good though. I don't think I've ever had cursed eye with tech. That's weird. Let's see if we can't get enough money to come back for this cricket's head. Please. Game. Hook me up. What do I gotta do? Oh, I just can't believe that we got cursed eye, you guys. It hurts. Like, first floor? Come on! Secret room, have more money for me. I need that damage. Oh. Oh. Open this, maybe? No. One more penny. Who's got it? One of these poops. No. No. Lemon. Nope, we got options here. We got pots. We got the keepers up there. See if I can get it from this fire. Come on. More poops to shoot. Come on, you guys. How many poops does it take? Oh my goodness. You think the top secret room's off this? Heck yeah, it is. Okay, okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Bro, how many fires and poops can I shoot? Oh my goodness. You're actually not gonna get me? You're you're actually serious though. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I just went through all of that. I got a reverse hangman card. Why was I not using that? I, I totally spaced on the reverse hangman card. Turn into the keeper, enemies drop money. We'll use it on the boss. How about that? I was sitting on this <laughs> stupid card the whole time. There's all this, uh, these pots too is like a great backup plan. All right, rank man, you are gonna give me some extra. D oh no. Get back in there, get back in there. Come on, get 
Get those coins quick. Yeah, give me extra things to shoot here. All right, we got the money. We got the money. We're we're in the business. We're good. We're gonna use the sacred dice here on the boss pedestal. We're gonna take some PJs. That's great. A good early grab. We just have to become so powerful that we can overcome the the effects of the cursed eye. 1197 damage. I am feeling spicy about that. Crystal ball is also ready. I should have waited for the next floor because we could have gotten full mapping. Whatever. Whatever. I'm feeling spicy and you can't tell me that I'm not. We have this holy dip in here. Look at this. That's pretty crazy. Almost got like insta charge when I'm inside that aura. This dip trinket. I think it gives you one friendly dip per room. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's homing too. I forgot about that. More soul hearts. Health is looking phenomenal. How about we go into the curse room? Oh. Ooh. Reroll the blood puppy into eraser. No, I wanted to use my crystal ball. It's pretty good. Eraser's not bad. Like, don't get me wrong here. All right, we're going to moon cart out. I usually try to erase things I know is going to be on every single floor. We're talking about flies and spiders. It would just be like super easy ones to get. Maybe needles? Next birders? See, the longer I wait, though, we might not even use it this room. You just killed my holy dip. That's it. Just got Thanos snapped, my friend. Iterum's got some trash. Oh, we could have just waited on these maggots and could have erased them instead. Boo. Goodbye, Bob Rotten Head. Hello, Stigmata. Besides the cursed eye, the game has been phenomenally nice to me. Phenomenally nice? It's been phenomenal, and it's been nice. Last bomb. Nice. Oh, less nice. Tippy tip top. What say you? Demon's Tail. Decreases spawn rate of hearts to 20%. All heart pickups turn into black hearts. Increases the drop chance of keys. It's pretty good. Let's get our devil room so that we may ignore it. You're dead. Reroll that to pointy rib. We do have enough health that we could feasibly go into the deal with the devil, but we're going to be chaos re-rolling all health upgrades from bosses, so I just, it's just not a good idea. Angel better here. Eraser's back. Erase bomb flies. That's not a bad idea, but bomb flies can get you into secret rooms. So I'm gonna keep them. Keeper heads. Yeah, erasable. Item room. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Fetus. And hello to nothing. Shop. You gonna be nicer to me? Go. Why are you like this? Kinda looks like top secret room to me. That's good. Thank you. It's too bad picking up eternal hearts doesn't increase your angel chance. Maybe we'll get some curse room luck? No. Big horn, give me angel. Done. Nope. We just got... Oh, holy grail. Who needs an angel when you can just pull angel pedestals on your boss pedestal? Oh man, flight's gonna be good. x lax See how good that was? Man, what would I do without that x lax pill? We get some cash here. I do like the idea of re-rolling in my shops and getting more pedestals. Item room. Goodbye, freezer baby. Hello to sensor. Another angel item. And a health down pill. Fine. Shop. Give me something juicy. We got paws. I like. I don't hate paws. We could probably use our pointy rib too while we're pausing. It's kind of a bummer. I got my paws. Yeah. See, I can just walk up on people. Except for that guy, I can't really get my rib over to him. Once I start charging my attack again, though, they become unpaused. Rag mega. Pause. <laughs> More angel too? Glorious. False PhD. That's an interesting one. Converts all good pills into bad pills. Eating a stat down pill grants a damage up. Eating other bad pills drops a black heart. All right, angel. We can re-roll the key pedestal too if we so choose. And we should. Freeze. Bro, I'm a freaking criminal. I do think there's only a, like a certain amount of time on bosses that they get frozen for. Okay, never mind. Maybe not. <laughs> and reroll. We got Monstrance. Very surprised to see all of these angel items that we're rerolling into. And then a devil item here, missing page two. Plus one black heart taking damage down to one heart damages all enemies in the room. Black hearts and Necronomicon deal double damage. Soul gives me full mapping after I fight a boss. And now we can see where the secret room is. Be cool if there was something in there. Next floor. 
Oh, just a free tiny planet. Would I take a health down to get a damage up? Yeah, maybe. Health. Plus one damage for that? That seems significant. Tiny planet rerolls. <laughs> this run's gonna give me Cursed Eye and Bob's Brain in the same run. Are you sure about that? You know what? Bob's Brain is great. You just gotta know how and when to use it. Freeze. Whoa, what's happening with my monstrance there? Strobe effect. Ow. That hurts my face. Not looking forward to doing that again, but I, I do kind of need to cheese the game a little bit here. Because Cursed Eye. Yeah. Ow. Okay. That's not great. Bad Trip uses a black heart, but gives me a black heart back. Well, we have double damage black heart usage, so I can just walk into a room and do that. That's pretty good. Since we got soul, might as well go to the boss early. Freeze them in place. Have monstrance destroy our retinas. Cool. We're done. Perfection. Do I want that? With missing page two, I think that... Demon's Tail sounds better. Reroll that, and we gotta take a pony. We got double flight. It's totally possible at some point in time during this run, you guys, I'm going to accidentally take something and forget to reroll it. That has happened. That will happen. I appreciate you not personally attacking me in the comment section if I make a slip up. Thanks. Pony gives us free curse rooms. If we have it charged, do one of these. Challenge room. Ugh. Golden Tick. I don't think Tick's like horrible. It's just not one of my favorite trinkets. And the fact that you can never take it off unless you get Match Tick is just a deal breaker for me. 30% boss health heals two red hearts when entering a boss room. Removable. The gold part is removable. Wait, what? Is that just a saying because of the, the Match Tick? The golden version can be dropped or replaced by another trinket. Seriously? Holy crap, how did I never know that? That's incredibly interesting. It's a great trinket. I still feel like I should go with the demon's tail, but but thanks. But like, cool. Item rooms D100, yeah, right. Oh, bruh. We got just like a brim ball now. Do we still teleport if I get hit? We probably still teleport if I get hit while I'm charging. But wow, is that an improvement? Our shop is also here, and we got rid of the keeper heads. Don't have to deal with those. That's quite nice. Let's give her a spin. Yes! He diddle! Oh my god, that's gonna be huge for Cursed Eye. That is amazing. As long as P. Diddly is ready. He will negate any damage that we take. Once he does that, he's got to sleep it off for a little bit, but then he gets right back into the action. It's so good. I think the run's in the bag. You know what? I feel so comfortable. I'm taking perfection right now. We're going to go to the chest, and we're going to get so many freaking items. Whoa, Soul of Eden. We'll say Soul of Eden is fair game after I've already rerolled with the sacred dice. Shop, what do you got? You got some x-ray. That's nice. Top secret room. I suppose I don't really need the cash anymore since this is our last shop. Last item room as well. Parasite, I'm so sorry I had to do this to you. Flip? That's quite interesting. I might Soul of Eden right now too. We could save it for the chest. But I don't know, it's gonna burn a hole in my pocket. Go! Soul oh, that's Eden. terrible. We still going to be able to flip something after I reroll it with my sacred dice? I don't know how that's gonna work. Speedball turns into yuck. Well, it's been fun, Flip. Yuck hard giving me one rotten heart upon use. Mom fight. Shouldn't be too bad with our damage. Yeah, you got crushed. And a deal with the devil, that is very unexpected. And I think I might go for it since we're almost done with Devil Angel. Hit the Polaroid here, see what's going on. Polaroid quest items, not going to be part of any challenges. I'm not re-rolling the Polaroid, but I will re-roll this. Oh, wow, okay. Take, take my fire right though. Oh no, am I gonna get hit while I'm charging now? We could just do little baby ones. My damage is 39, though! Giant Cell, you're probably not even gonna work, but I'm gonna take you anyways. My flies are gonna be doing twice that damage, too. Yowzas, this got spicy. Two amnesia pills for two black hearts? I'm in. Skodex. The damage. The damage is real. Oh, man, in one jump. And we have another deal with the devil. That is interesting. Belly button. You know, two trinkets. Plus 3% chance for eternal hearts, okay? Not gonna write home about that one, but it's okay. What I did last time is is I allowed myself to reroll this and then pick. I feel like the shop, you, you should have to pick which one you want. This one's like, the stakes are much higher when you're talking about your health. So I, I talked about it at the beginning, being able to choose whether or not I want to take something. Okay. 
Choice is but an illusion. Next floor. <laughs> That's unreal. That is unreal how it took all three of them. Oh, another one here. What you got? Vengeful Spirit. Great race bright. Taking damage spawns in Orbital Wisp. We just don't take damage here. This is Huts gaming. This isn't bad player gaming. Ooh, ouch. I did say that our goal is to become so powerful that we, uh... Don't have to worry about Cursed Eye, and, and here we are. I think we're doing it. Hoping to get a better trinket out of this machine, maybe, possibly. Or a Joker card, that's cool. I like that. That double secret rooms from Fragmented Card? Yeah, we'll be taking that, thank you. Boss fight, Mom's heart. You're done, you're already done. You're so done. We're gonna Joker card now. No, hey, easy. That's your, I, I hate you, I hate you? You're a bad person. Anyways, reroll. Holy moly. This one's obviously a no-brainer there. Um, I think Tech X Ipecac has been fixed. Oh, look at how cool those little rings are. Oh, that looks great. We, I gotta know. We have to know what's gonna happen, right? They fixed it so it's not just gonna immediately blow me up, right? But I think it's gonna blow up everything else that it touches. 42 damage. What have we done? Off to the cathedral. Once again, Maybe not a tough run, but gosh, is this interesting. I'm really liking the sacred dice. <laughs> Just instantly disintegrates people when it touches them. Easy there. They're blowing up on rocks in front of me. We gotta be careful. I already made it to Isaac. We're just cruising. All right, how much damage? It seems good, it seems good. Oh, 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 good shot. We would have lost our perfection anyways. Fair enough. There's one more secret room we can go to. I just don't feel like doing the cathedral anymore. I really want to get down to the chest. Give me the goods, baby. What do you got? Don't care about any of that stuff because we're going to re-roll it. We're going to take some champion's belt. We're going to take some dead onion, which shouldn't matter. I guess shot speed down is really good for the laser rings. And swarm protector, more defensive stuff. Sure, I'll slower my rings. Oh, they're slow. That's good. More time that they take to hover over enemies, the more ticks of damage they'll get in. Got one chest here. Three roll it to compound fracture. That sounds delicious, unless it's gonna hurl bombs at me. Is it gonna hurl bombs at me? No. Seems like it's overridden. Little haunt into swarm. Good stuff. Very defensive build. Oh, you're such a tease. I wish. Oh, never mind. 54 damage. It's probably gonna look the same because it already looked like a brim ball. I think it's because we had so much tech already. But some um, pretty decent flat damage up. And now we got Jupiter, Tootie Bud, and a mom's pad. Sure. Oh, toughest room right here. Stupid red poops when you're backtracking. More items. I'm glad I decided to full clear here. Oh, never mind. For forget I said anything. More. Reverse lover's card. That's interesting. Shouldn't matter where I use that. Either way, I'm gonna have to re-roll it. Into... Oh, double damage? My fire rate, though. <laughs> 109 damage. Wow, wow, wow. As long as I'm charged up before I walk into the room, should be pretty easy. Just one-shotting. Just one-shotting everything. Whoops, I just overwrote my active item. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Conehead. Range down, damage up. Yep. Range does not matter for my character currently. Best bud to brown nug. And that's the last room. Boss fight. Can we one-shot him? Devil card. Blast. Oh, easy. Easily one-shot, blue baby. Absolutely phenomenal run. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the sacred dice. And I feel like we're probably going to play more of this on my stream. So make sure to check me out there as well. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.